It was a 155 pound battle as the Brazilian Francisco Trinaldo handed Chad Laprise his first loss. And one thing we know about Chad Laprise, Robin, very mentally strong. All of his coaches rave about this guy and a, a terrifying idea is the thought of Chad Laprise's next fight. You know he's going to come back stronger than ever, but you have to credit Francisco Trinaldo. We saw Andre Dita in his corner and those guys from Evolucion Thai and the Shooter Box guys, super explosive, especially in the stand-up department. If they land cleanly, they are gonna hurt you bad. This one shocked me, it really did, because when you look at it on paper and you analyze their fights, man, Chad, uh, uh, Faraz Zahabi calls him his Frankenstein. He's a monster. They, I mean, the, the way he trains, how driven he is, all of his coaches have rarely seen a guy with this kind of commitment and this kind of skill. Trinaldo has looked good, he's looked serviceable, he's looked tough, physically strong. He didn't look as big as, as he's been in the past. Maybe he was a little faster. But how do you beat a guy like Chad Laprise who has very unique striking, very complex striking? Sometimes you ignore it, you don't buy into it, and you commit to simple fundamentals. And that's what Trinaldo did. Got behind that power left hand, a little gallop step in to close the distance, bit down and committed to his left. When he hit him, Chad went down and that was trouble. And really, it was he never got to recover. Laprise, of course, seemed to be hurt. Uh, went to the guard position to try to to recover, I think just to hold there to create no space, try to recover to get either the end the round or get back to the standard department. But unfortunately for Trinaldo, he just went after it. And when uh, Chad Laprise was face down, it was just a matter of time because Trinaldo was constantly attacking, constantly aggressive. Yeah, I didn't hate that strategy of pulling guard. If you've really been wrong, you've been wrong hard, all you gotta do is take away that space. You can circle out, which would be a strategy, or you can come in, pull guard, and try to shut him down. Trinaldo really could tell. He's experienced, he could tell Chad was hurt. Once he got him flattened out, that was a done deal. And you're right, Chad Laprise will get better. He will learn from this, but it's going to be very tough for him, as mentally strong as he is, to go from undefeated and dreaming of the title to a setback. He's never experienced that before. Trinaldo in his mid-30s, still looking good. I would not be surprised if he took a run at the 155-pound championship. Back to you guys in studio.